All right, so we're, it's our first breakfast in Savannah. We are at the Broken Egg Cafe. Looks, uh, the choices look really good, so. Why don't you read some of the items that are? Shrimp and grits, of course. Then they have, oh, rum cake French toast. French toast style spice rum cake with pecans topped with grilled fresh pineapples, fresh berries, and a spice rum glaze. Ooh. I'm almost tempted to get that also. I'm gonna try their shrimp and grits. And just keep in mind we're eating all day. <laughs> eating all day. Yeah. It's a foodie day. It's a foodie day, yeah. Yes. It's Jen's birthday. So it's a foodie day. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, let's see. Hi. <laughs> Come eat with us. Yep, so. We could do the, the Savannah breakfast morning thing. <laughs> Ooh, a breakfast montage. Ooh, so so you gotta check out where the next breakfast oh, I place. Have 20, like, uh, <laughs> Jen has plenty. Jen's of a planner. <laughs> I am a planner. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go check it out and then see you later. Okay, I forgot to take video of it before we, we even hungry. started we it. We were hungry, but these are they got a free sample being a first timer here. Beignets. And they were good. These are biscuit beignets. Biscuit beignets. Yes. So these are not the traditional yes. New Orleans. Funnel yes. cake feel. Yes. Oh, funnel cake feel. There you go. Nice. Okay, Jen, what did you get? Lemon curd French toast. Lemon curd. Get a, get a close up of that. You can see that. Sorry, I'm touching Ooh. your plate. Um, you can take a picture for me with your phone. Sure. Ooh. You're my photographer for right now. Oh, you can really. Oh, nice. Can you see it? Oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> and what would you um, get, Norman? How about you? What did you um, get? I got okay. chilaquiles, actually, which really surprised me they had that in Georgia. But it smells really good. That's and good. it has a side of beans with it. Yeah, right. You look like you have a really good yeah, no worries. Now no I got worries. shrimp and grits, the, but I added, so asked them to add the crawfish they, with it too. On their original, and a side or of or salmon, or smoked salmon. salmon. You getting, yeah, you want the picture? Okay. No, not me, just the, okay. just a good picture of showing it all. Okay, okay thank you. Absolutely. Okay. I'm not a chilaquiles fan, but I tried Lisa's chilaquiles for him. It's pretty good, actually. Spicy. Um, I think why I don't like chilaquiles is because, I, you know, it's like the tortillas. I expect tortillas to be crispy or something like that. But but, but this, it's, it's good. It's, I like it. This is I like the flavor. a little bit more like a breakfast enchilada. Yeah. yeah. Um, See, this one's crispy. Jen's... Lemon curd. Oh, can I try another piece? <laughs> I think he approves. Lemon curd <laughs> French toast. Very good. We have our new breakfast spot. <laughs> so we might be here at least another time before we leave. Yeah. I have a feeling we're coming back to Savannah. Mm. Oh, man. You know what? The lemon curd is good. But it's not overly sweet. Also, that's because it, it's because it's a lot of curd. Yeah, it's not overly sweet. Like because I've had you know lemon curds in the jar and all that you buy at the store, and it's good, but it's has a kick of sugar. This one is is more of the lemon taste. Oh. Cleaner. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say cleaner, but. Well, more of a pure lemon taste versus a sugary taste. Yes. That's, that's what I mean by Yeah. That. Now, the shrimp and grits. Oh my God, the, the flavor of this sauce. Oh. We really love... I think we need to rate it. Mm. Huh? I think we need to rate the shrimp and grits how, every how day. Many, <laughs> how, many, how many shrimps out of 10? Yeah. <laughs> well... Well, sure. For everything. Yeah. Flavor. We can make different factors. Flavor. The, the flavor is, it's it's good. It's really strong. We I didn't know. We're talking about how many shrimp. Quantitative analysis. Here. Well, out of, uh, <laughs> uh, out of five stars, five shrimp, okay, yeah. I would say it's a five. 
because the yeah, because the I'm I'm really surprised with the you, there's a there's a really good uh, intense flavor in the in the sauce. It's you can really taste like the shrimp taste in the sauce. Mm -hmm. You know what it almost tastes like? It's like a concentrated gumbo. Yeah, go for it. Thank you. That's what it tastes like to me. It's like a concentrated yeah, yeah. gumbo. Are we doing everything delicious so far? Yes. Very good. And the grits too. Normally I like grits like nice and watery liquidy yeah. type but this is is oh, a drier like thicker. Yeah. thicker but with the sauce it's good yeah. mm. so I think after this I'm gonna stop oh um, I would like to stop but this is too good no. <laughs> we have more eating to do today so <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> all right guys I'll see you in a bit okay done I am stuffed. <laughs> what? And he's eating in two hours. Yeah, stuffed, and it was really good. Uh, we're bringing it home, definitely. There are some leftovers because I am really full. Uh, other things that I had, the cold brew coffee was, was good with the caramel. That was really nice. I didn't even add to add Splenda to it because the, the caramel was enough of a sweetener in the apple juice was good it seems like lisa said i don't think it was a pasteurized apple juice i think maybe they got it fresh from a farm or something it didn't seem like it was pasteurized it was really good because i don't like the uh, pasteurized stuff from you're, the stores you're tough in the south, yeah. <laughs> so i definitely went what is a broken egg cafe yeah yeah another broken egg another broken egg cafe definitely yeah. like recommend in pooler in pooler yeah. in pooler which is right outside of Savannah, about 15 right, minutes. Right